G'day guys, how are you going? Um, got a, another Adventure Kings in today. Um, just gonna sort a couple things out. Okay, so the issue seemed that if you didn't pull the fridge slide out first and then take the, the, uh, the sink and that out, it would, it would pull off, you know. I don't even know why those, those fittings should not pull off, but you know, something going on with that. I'll just get Josh to pull it out a little bit and it just goes like that. And then it would pull and it would touch on this thing here. And then it would just, you can see it, it just pops off. Right, that, that fitting shouldn't just pop off. So this um, flexing, not long enough, but again, that fitting should not come off. You can see this pipe, it should just push in, right? Like that, and then it should lock in, but you can just pull it, pull it straight off. So I don't know why it's not gripping if the pipes are not the right size or something, but that, that shouldn't be happening. And that's what's getting wedged under this thing and just pulling off, and that'd be terrible because that water, if the pump was on that, would just fill up this whole thing with water. So the issue is this section here is if you don't pull it out, that's what the, the problem was, it was getting stuck. So I just got this John Guest fitting. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna, um, this is just a John Guest pipe that we use. We've wrapped it really tight around a bit of 65 mil um, and we'll pour boiling hot water over it, you know, all the way. And then hopefully that'll remember that shape. And if we stick say a 90 John Guest fitting, which will, you know, it'll move and everything, that might give us that concertina sort of effect here and we, yeah, it might stop doing that, but try it out, but I don't know if that's gonna work, we'll see. All right, so it sort of works, eh? It's not bad. So um, we could probably even try to get it a bit tighter, but I reckon that's, that might be all right, I don't know. It's, it's staying shape, so yeah, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with that, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't know what sort of fitting this is, I don't think it's John Guest, but you know, you might, the John Guest pipe, you just push straight in and it comes straight out. Same with the white stuff that they got here. Again, you push that straight in like that, and it just comes off. So there's something you know, seriously wrong with that fitting. So I might just, what I might do is just cut the end of that little bit of white one off and see if the uh, the John Guest fitting goes on there and stays. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just with my cutters here, with my cutters, I'll just cut the end of this pipe off. All right. Now I might put one of these. Uh, John Guest sleeves, sleeves in as well. Um, you can buy these from um, Kamek. Um, I think it's Kamek's all over the place, but there's, there's John Guest. So that's what we use all the time, so it doesn't let the, the pipe collapse. Um, but that's really loose inside there, so I don't even know if we can, if that other one will fit. So anyway, I'll try to force this my uh, my John Guest fitting on there and see if um, see if it goes it goes on there. Yes, yeah, so we've. Um I've just tried to push the white stuff into the John Guest. It, 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 it's, not, it's not working. It's leaking. Turn the pump on and we've tried to give it a pull and it starts leaking. So we've got to maybe just replace the blue pipe, just remove that white pipe altogether and just leave it all in John Guest and then we know it's not gonna have any issues. So we'll just try that now. So I've just taken that thing out and I've unscrewed this here. So that was screwed onto the bottom. So I'm thinking if I can get uh, John Guest fitting onto that, and replace this pipe with John Guest because that little that little bend where the white push white pipe pushes onto that other one it, it's leaking so because it's slightly bigger than the John Guest ones um, I don't know what what this is but you know we'll, we'll try to get something to match okay so I put the the male the female on there um, I've cut this the same length as I, the pipe we pulled out so it fits in there because it's slightly smaller so that shouldn't be an issue so I'll push that all the way to the back. Okay, and then you know it's got the sleeve, the little sleeve in it, so it can't collapse the pipe. So I push that stem adapter on there, and then all I got to try to do is get up inside and push it up into that John Guest fitting. Yeah, which is quite difficult to do. So, okay, now it's on there. So here's a tip for you: before you put the sink in, change this thing over so you got access to it, and it becomes a lot easier. But yeah, that's all in there. It's looking pretty good. So let's check it out the back then. Okay, so. Seems to be working all right, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's slid in and then when it's slid out from the inside. And so you can get some ideas, you can do this yourself. You know, I reckon this is a good, good solution if you guys are out there with these, um, with these Kings campers, mate. Sort it out, you know, you don't have to worry about it anymore, but I'll show you now. Okay guys, so again, um, here's that pipe that goes down the side of the kitchen, okay? It's got the elbow on to give you a bit of flexibility. And now I've put the clip up quite high on, on the back of the kitchen here, okay? And it goes, and then you can see the spring just goes all the way. And then I've got another clip that's clipped to the back of the fridge, fridge drawer here. 
and that holds the elbow with the stem so that's got a lot of movement as well that's not that's fine for a John Guest fitting you know if that makes sense and that just lays down on there okay okay so as it pulls out you see what happens here okay just pull it out Joshy it comes out just sort of goes in there and that's where it's full so it's, you know it stays there quite nicely I reckon it's pretty good okay nice that clips nice and high just lays it off and then when you push it closed again it all just sort of mus munces up like that okay that's turned out pretty good and then um, I'll show you the, uh, the the other stainless steel hose that's already in there okay so now this I'm sort of sitting on the, on the fridge drawer here and I'll just get Josh to push it closed and you'll see what happens with the with the, oh, with the drawer here so it just sort of sits sits in there like that you know so there's no no pressure on any there's no kinking anymore just slide it out again Josh and you see it just sort of follows that follows that line come up pretty good so pretty happy with that if you're thinking to yourself mate this is amazing what he's done but there's no way i could do this it's well above my pay, you know, pay grade then of course uh, give us a call if you live in Perth, we'll be able to help you out but if you think mate i could totally do this um, how about i just show you what fittings you need and um, then you can just get them from chemic or something i'll try and give you the the numbers as well we'll try to put them on the screen i will read them out because i don't know them off by heart but we buy all this stuff in bulk anyway so obviously you need the 12 mil guest piping, okay? Try to get the blue stuff, it, you know, it sort of looks good, cold water and everything. So underneath the tap here, okay, remember we, we took off this fitting underneath, okay? So we removed that and then we use this fitting here, okay? Now this is the, um, this is the 12, 12 mil BSP, okay, to the 12 mil fitting. And the, the number, the, number you know, the, the product number is CM451214. FS okay so that's what you need and that screws straight onto the bottom of, of the tap once you remove this okay and then you need this um, stem stem pipe here it is up here okay it's a it's a 12 mil M elbow with the stem on it okay now this is you know 12 mil by by 12 mil okay and this the uh, the product number on this one is PM double two one two one two E okay so that's what you need and that pops underneath so that goes on the tap this pops underneath and then that continues down the side you know we, we, we spoke about it. it runs down the side here and then when you get to the back of the back of the um, the drawer here that's when you stick the normal 12 mil by 12 mil equal um, elbow now that this uh, product number is PM 0312E okay so you need one of those to go at the very back and then when it then you need to clip it to the back of the, the actual kitchen okay we'd want one of those clips um, they look like that I use these C clips I think these are um, they're about yeah 16 mil I think 16 or 13 mil just get one of those and that clips right up to the high high bit okay and then when it, it after you've called it and it gets to the top then then it then you need to get the um, uh, it's one of what are these these babies okay so the stem goes on to the end of the coil, okay, so it's the same, same fitting that you had before. And then that stem pushes into this, which is a male fitting to the 12 mil. And this, that number for this baby here is PM011204E, okay? So once that goes on the end, so the coil goes on, stem goes on there, that, that pushes on there, and then that's when you put that, the other clip. And that clip goes to the back of the fridge slide, okay? And then that bit there should go onto your existing one meter stainless steel flexi, okay? So that's all you need. You can get those from Kamek or you just have to order them online, but you know what they look like now, so pretty easy. Have a crack yourself. Um, I'm gonna ask the owner, see what he thinks about this. Obviously it's not my camper, so I can't try it out, but hopefully after he's used it a few times and he's gone away camping a bit, um, he'll get back to me and say, good job, or mate, it's kinked up or something, but I oh, know it looks all right to me. Okay guys. Stay safe. If you need any help, uh, feel free to give us, uh, get in touch with us and uh, like and subscribe. Okay, great. See you later, guys. Thanks.